How sure of yourself did you feel when you did the hula hoop scene with MGK at the AVNs? So fucking sure. That's Adam made me watch this ever. last night. <laughs> we were in bed and I made her watch it. Yeah. I loved it. It was one of the best moments of my life. Really? Yeah. You looked great in that hula hoop. Thank you. How long did you date him for? Were you dating? Like a year. Dating I mean, I was suicide? still shooting and he was still touring. So I don't know if. Like, it wasn't like exclusive, exclusive. So he was dating. banging tons of chicks and you were just weren't asking questions? Well, I was banging a bunch of guys. But for money. Yeah, because I wanted to. Yeah. The same thing. Right. He was just doing it for free. But you were in love. <laughs> you were in love. No, I wouldn't say that. Really? No, yeah. Okay. No. Interesting. It was but fun. How did that idea come about? Um, I DM'd him. Dating. What? I'm talking about the hula hoop scene in particular. Oh. People are going <laughs> to think like this is a porn dating. scene with him and Hulu. No, I mean, I, I, all the porn scholars So how did the there. Hula Hoop thing came up? So yeah. um, not to like, I don't know, ruin it for anyone. But um, I, on 2015, they told me that uh, I was going to win a lot of awards and that I was going to be on stage a lot. And I was kind of sad that they told me that <laughs> ahead of time because I was like, well, there's the surprise is gone. Yeah. Right. Um, and so I was like, well, that's really cool. Um, but they were like, we're telling you this because we want you to who hula hoop and we know that you are with Machine Gun Kelly. We'd like to have him perform as well. Mm. Can he do two songs? And then you'll like hula hoop for one of them and figure it out. And so then we got to dress rehearsal at AVN and then that's kind of how it all got worked out from there. That song, you feel like that song's about you? Yeah. He's like, you're the baddest in the universe, girl. And I just won every <laughs> fucking AVN award. Yeah, He's it was cool. He's singing like <laughs> into your butt. Like up my vagina. Yes, he's, like, he's singing like singing into my singing to, to the boot. <laughs> you know, Adam has watched this like more than ten times. No, uh, pr- probably two times because I watched it for sure probably back two in the times, day he says. when we did the interview. <laughs> yeah. Although honestly, there and then last night, but there might have been another time in between that. Yeah. Because you told it, me about it years ago. I feel like we have watched it fun. together more than once. <laughs> I mean, it's just uh-huh. something about like you're hula hooping, which is dope. But it's like, and then he's rapping to your butt. And I don't know, I just really did. It Not just me. my butt, I thought my that, butthole. Right. I thought they looked great. Do you, uh, Thank you. Do you have beef with Julia Fox? Who's Julia Fox? His girlfriend, right? No, he's dating Megan Fox, you oh, dumbass. Megan Fox. <laughs> Brain Fox. Who's Julia Fox? I'm not really good with my celebrity. Oh, wait, is Julia Fox the Uncut Gems girl? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. No, I don't if have, you beef, have with beef with her. If you have beef with her, no. just let us know, even though I don't, I don't know. That no, she's, she's hot. I just think she talks funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how she tore the Kardashian family apart. But anyway, okay. Um, <laughs> but okay, you're not. That's are, a can of worms. Are, are you <laughs> right? concerned? Are you keeping up with like his current pop punk career? No. You're not concerned with that. Why would I be concerned? I don't know. I I, I still lurk some of my exes here and there. You do? No. I mean, I'm super happy for him. <laughs> he seems like he's doing better mentally, and like he's happy and he's married. So I mean, that's cool. Yeah. I wish that for everybody. Why did it not work out between you guys? I needed something more serious. Mm. That Makes was sense. around that time where I was like, oh, I need some roots. Yeah. That whole thing was right around then, yeah. And he never got pissed off about the fact that you were doing all this porn? No. No. And just like I wouldn't get upset about him going on tour and doing his thing that he does. I know it's not his job, but it's part of the job. If you're dating a rock star and they go on tour and they come back home, do you make them get tested? Yes. 100%. Definitely. I was just thinking that. I was like, God, I hope she got him tested every time he would come back. Like 100%. Are you like demanding that he get tested in various cities while he's on tour? We weren't. <laughs> no, we weren't like that close. It wasn't like that exclusive. Knowing what but I know now, it would kind of seem reasonable. Honestly, he and I always fucked with a condom. Really? 100%. Wow. What? 100%. Why? He's not in the industry. What's that like? Latexy. It's not great, right? <laughs> Kind of latexy. Don't you feel like you're just kind of cheating yourself out of the, the real deal when you do that? I don't know. Adam's He's so anti condom. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's still great at sex, so. Right? I mean, he fucks better than most porn stars. We have heard that from girls on this platform. So. <laughs> Why we always yeah, so condom or no MGK. condom, whatever, it doesn't matter. Seems like a good thing to focus But yes, if on. somebody were to have, like, whatever, outside of the industry, 100%. Right. This industry is sacred. Definitely. That's true. You gotta respect it. We've been burnt in recent memory. It yeah. happens. It happens to everybody. It yeah. happens. But also, it's like, damn, you can stay off Tinder for a few days. Right. No, but last <laughs> time we got something, it was like the girl had gotten tested the day before. It just didn't show up on her test yet. And mm. that's how you, hmm. you know. I bet she was Tinder trapping. You think so? <laughs> of course. <laughs> always thinking the worst. I yeah, I know. I'm always like, no, that's, what are you talking about? 
about benefit of the doubt babe i mean listen, <laughs> when you're not in the industry i don't think anybody has that expectation like everybody's just fucking raw let's be real and you know if you have a test no in the real world people are just fucking raw from my like, experience not in the industry not yeah. in the industry yeah. okay yeah yeah outside the industry yeah. the industry people think about it so much more they do which is so weird or programs people, people think like oh you do porn like you're sick and it's like no i get tested a million times more than you yeah. I, my yeah. odds of having something are so much less than yours that and yeah. also people think we have this like crazy body count when we all fuck the same people i know i, I always think about that there's like i can only name like five guys in the industry so i don't know how many you know guys or girls are having sex with but right. it's probably not that many Okay, the clip you just watched was from Plug Talk, which is my adult podcast that I do with Lena the Plug, where every week we interview a different girl and then we get nasty. So if you want to see the full thing, onlyplugtalk.com, $5 for your first month. Appreciate y'all.